as I was saying, well, I forgot what I was. I was going to enter the, this um, sentence with something else, but the video ran out, and I ran out. Forgot what I was going to say. But I'll come on to a new course. The new questions. How do you feel about those who leave Islam? You know, I mean, in most religions, they have the freedom to do what they want. Most religions say God will judge them. Islam thinks it's God because Islamic people think if someone leaves its religion they must die as if they're some sort of God no they're not a God you know it is illegal to kill people um, Islam believes that if I was to convert to Islam and I can rest assure you that will never happen um, but if I was say I was to, to convert to Islam, Islam will put that I reverted to Islam. Now, as a Christian, most Christians believe you're born a sinner, and you must be baptized or Christian. Um, depends if you're Catholic or Protestant. I'm Protestant, um, sort of thing. Um, but I'm not. I don't go to church because I believe you don't you don't need to go to church and or mask. Um, Islam is like Muslim don't need to go to their churches to pray. You can do it in the space of your own privacy, which more people find more comfortable. Um, you say that back on the topic, saying that people, Islam says that um, people who convert to Islam are reverting to Islam, as I say. They were born Muslim, but then left Muslim due to parents and their and the parents' religion, and then they come back to the Muslim. In Christianity, I believe you were born a sinner. As in a sinner, if I hope I assume that's the same thing in Islam. I mean, I've never heard the term sinned sinned in Islam, but um, who knows. A sinner is an evil. It's, if you sin, like, it doesn't mean you're always evil. There's a lot of people who sin who are not evil. You know, everybody sins. Everybody does. People lie. People cheat. People steal. Some people say wanking is a sin because you're killing a lot of children. Now, here's my question: If I went into a jar and donated to a laboratory to make more children, is it really a sin? Think about it. I'm. Yes, I'm. I'm using my right hand to wank um it's a sin because it's killing children because in my sperm there's a chance to make lots of baby but i wank into a jar donate it to a, a sperm laboratory and that sperm laboratory gives my sperm to a to a, to a couple that where the ma male cannot get the female pregnant due to some medical conditions is it a sin then well like you decide so my personal opinion it's not but basically, yeah, anyway, you, you're born a sinner, which means you're like, you're possessed, possessed by the devil, um, you got evil inside you, you you're going to go to hell, what a lot of people say, in, um, in my eyes, it's not quite true, because of, um, you, a newborn baby gets born, but, but then dies two seconds later, is that found the baby to send it to hell, because... He was born a sinner? No, it's not. But here's my thingy. People are born a sinner and Muslims are saying everybody's born a Muslim. It fits how does it fit in together? You know it's like it's like fitting like a book. Muslims are actually stabbing themselves in the foot by saying this that people born Muslim and then everybody else is saying people born sinners because it's just saying yeah people are born by the devil they're born for the devil with the devil inside them and that the water the holy water is to get the devil out of them and Islam is saying every is born Islam every born Muslim see how it fits fits perfectly in my beliefs in my eyes this is what I believe you know this is I have not got this from anybody else. I mean, I've done research. I've spoken to people. 
someone told me that there's what it, it Muslims believe that people who ever is born a Muslim and then when they turn convert into Muslim from their religion, whether it's atheist, and people do say communism. I like to point out communism is not a religion, it's a politic. So those people say that are very much stupid. And they point out, they said to me, Muslims believe those who convert into Muslim are reverting. That's where I got this idea from. And now you may you may not agree with me. Now a lot of things you say I do not agree with you. But I don't hate you because we're all entitled to our own opinion. And that's what makes this world great. The thing is I condemn when it comes when you saying about terrorism you condemn it. I told him terrorism we're killing people because saying stuff that insult them and their religion. Now if someone comes ahead and insults my religion, I like to them. Or I will put my webcam on, put my microphone on and I'll debate them why I think they're wrong. But Islam says they have the rights to open a jihad. Now Yes, it may say in the in the Quran that uh, Muslim in Islam may open up a jihad on anybody who, on anybody who ins not insults but like does something bad to the religion. Now I'm sure that um, if I went in to with, with a lot of people and killed a lot of Muslims, a lot of Muslims, then yes, a jihad is appropriate. But if I say I don't like I don't like Islam. A jihad is not appropriate for that because it's not really insulting Islam, it's putting someone's views on. And just because I hate Islam doesn't mean I hate Muslims. There's a big difference. A, a lot of Muslims out there, you know, when they when they when they read these stuff and or hear people saying to those who are not Muslims, they are doing as they they are commanded to do. They are doing what the Quran, and if it's not in the Quran, and it is, and you're saying that people rewritten the Quran, then you can, you, then it means the Quran's corrupted if it's been rewritten. But when people are saying, "Oh, go and kill those who are not Islam," and a lot of Islam people are doing this, they are doing as they are commanded to do. Just like the Romans did when they executed Jesus. However. It was not the Romans who executed Jesus, well, crucified Jesus. I see it as an execution because it's they're being killed. Which when the Jews crucified him, the truth is the Romans didn't really want to have him executed, but the Jews did. They said he was a blasphemy, and it's kind of like the same. I think I don't know. Um, they do, you do say that Jesus Christ is a prophet of Islam, as well as Muhammad. Um, I don't know what you believe in Jesus Christ did or, or did or didn't do. Um, I know that the Jews are still waiting for his coming, or they know he, they believe it exists, but don't believe he was anything special. Um, and it's a lot of things like take um, Saddam for example. People say that Saddam was the set was the uh, second coming was like Jesus Christ for Islam because the Americans caught him and handed him handed him over to his own people to be executed. Now the difference is between Jesus Christ and, and, and Saddam is Jesus Christ probably healed a lot of pe lots and lots of people, while Saddam killed a lots and lots of people. There's a difference. You know, people are saying that. Um, World War Three is going to come. The end of the world is coming. It is not coming. Okay, I'm sorry to say. Um, what's going to happen? You know, Islam needs respect of religions. I need to do it fast because slowly people are waking up. And then what's going to happen if a World War Three does happen? It's going to be Islam versus the rest of the world. Something they don't want to happen because there's countries out there. Who are not in, who are very quiet countries out of the way that no one really knows about it, who are sick to death of hearing this, watching his own videos, and they would hope that they would hope the industry. Islam do say there's going to be a war between Islam and the devil, where Islam will win, but 